MG Motor India has just unveiled its first electric SUV, the MG ZS EV. Now this EV has a 143 PS motor which puts out 353 newton meters of torque and it can go 340 kilometers on a single charge of its 44.5 kilowatt hour battery. I know that's a lot of specs but the thing is when you buy an EV like this it's not just about the car it's also about the entire ecosystem. Where do you charge it? What happens to the batteries at the end of its life? All that and more we asked the MG management. Yeah, so this is a pretty important question uh, because uh, you're right, uh, when you're buying an ordinary car, uh, the people don't have to bother about how to fill the petrol or diesel, right? But this is a different ball game. So here, important thing is the whole infrastructure surrounding the car. So the first thing is, how do you get the fuel, which is electricity? So how do you charge the car? So for that, we have tied up with the uh, charging companies, uh, with the uh, charger companies, you know, like Exicom, like uh, Fortum, uh, Delta. They are going to give us uh, chargers. And we are making uh, a plea that uh, we will supply a fast, a semi-fast charger at a customer house or office, wherever he or she wants. Every ZS EV buyer will get a 7.4 kilowatt hour charger installed at their premises from companies like Delta and Exicom. To make sure every ZS EV remains fully charged, Delta AC Mini Plus charger will be installed at preferred locations of uh, ZS EV owners. So from data gathered around the world, uh, we have found out that average metropolitan city car owners will drive between 50 to 60 kilometers per day. So maximum if they are driving out of the city, it will be probably 100 kilometers and a ZS EV Fully charged ZS EV will be at 340 kilometers, so you can do the maths. One full charge can last you for days. These charge, charging companies will give us a charger, which we are going to install at customer's house, and overnight you can charge the car. Also, there will be a cable inside your car, which you can plug it into any 15 amp socket in house or in office, anywhere, and you can get uh, some top up done in reasonable time so that you can go to the nearest station, nearest destination. Then, fast charger we are going to, through with Fortum, we are going to install uh, at our dealership locations where you is fast charger where you can do 80% of charging in 35 40 minutes. And lastly, uh, God forbid you get stuck somewhere, suddenly there's no charge, as an example, or you could plan charging. Then we will have mobile trucks, mobile charging vans who can also come to help you and can top it up in one hour or 45 minutes so that you can uh, move 35, 40 kilometers. Then uh, government also is thinking of uh, making a lot of infrastructure on charging stations. Whatever that happens, that is like we say Sone Suhaga. That's the bonus, that's cherry on the cake. MG ZS EV drivers can locate the nearest charging stations on their iSmart infotainment systems. Let me show you how easy it can actually be, especially if it is voice enabled. Let me start. Hello, MG. Yes. Where is the nearest EV charging station? It searches, and in just about a few seconds, you have it on your screen. Now, isn't that very convenient? The ZS EV also boasts of some segment first features like a built-in PM2.5 filter and an app that tells you how much carbon dioxide emissions you have saved. MG is also looking at repurposing batteries in the long run. So the whole sustainability, recycling, uh, second life of battery, we are working with the partners. You're looking at a 70 to 80 percent, certainly at 80 percent of its life in an automotive application after a significant number of years. And the degradation certainly from 80 to 75 to 70 is very slow. So you can have a significantly prolonged life in things like grid storage, home energy use, uh, disaster relief. In all those typical types of applications, these are ideally placed. So as we see these batteries coming off from the vehicles, we repurpose them and then they will go into less demanding applications. So we can put them in homes, we can put them in offices, we can put them at renewable, you have storage on your roof, let's say solar on your roof, then it goes into storage, then it goes to power your home. So lots of applications. While battery repurposing is something to think of much later, MG is looking at the larger picture. This will become a serious game in the next five or six years in India. Uh, and it may become mainstream uh, in the next uh, 
10 to 15 years. So there you have it, an entire ecosystem around electric vehicles. Five types of charging, an iSmart system that shows you where the nearest charger is, and even what happens to the batteries at end of life. In the next few years, we're going to see a lot of electric vehicles like the MG ZS EV on our roads. And MG is at the forefront of that change.